Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, and the battle on the ice should be ferocious as it always is in the American Hockey League here. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Condors start with possession as we are now underway. Quick pass to Kajula. The Rain have the puck in their own end. Fires it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Still has possession. Takes the feed. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Sensational stop by the goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Tynan's crossed the line and gained the zone. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Madden's got the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck picked up in the open ice. Sends the pass over. Here's a shot and makes the save. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Quick pass across to Broberg. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Griffith. Centering D. And he denies that great opportunity there. Through center along the wing. Dumps it in. The Condor is scooping up along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And that's poked away by Connaughton. Slides it diagonally to Houdon. Passes it to Connaughton. And he slides it quickly to Doty. Takes the feet at the back end. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Bakersfield's got the puck against the boards. Safar is going to play it to the corner. Here's a shot. Talk about sacrifice. What a block. And he shut the door on that last play. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he did. He scores! The rain have been pushing, and they finally break through with the game's first goal. Yeah, they capitalized finally, James, and that's the execution they needed. But there's not much ice out there, not much separating these two teams. So this next shift to create and continue that momentum is really important. Moves it on over to Savoie. Moves it to Groovy. Too many bodies in the way. Picked up along the boards by Santini. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Ontario's got the puck. That's moved up ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Handles the puck. Scores! And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. they got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Ontario's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Looks like there's a delay penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The rain have to kill off the penalty. Boarding is the call. Field's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the faceoff circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Tonight by Ingham! Ingham's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Gains control of the puck here at the line. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. He's got a step! Makes the save! Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And 
the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking and makes that save. And that's perfect. Ingham's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And there's the save. The Condors take over on possession. Connaughton standing up, ready to go. Ontario's PK unit comes up big as both sides are back to even strength. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Play whistle dead offside the call. More than half the frame has been played here. 2-0 is the score. Hellenius wins it. Pennelli's got it against the boards. Takes the pass. Scores! And look who's at it again. Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Bakersfield's won the face-off at center. The Condors played along the boards. There's a shot! Ontario's got it in their own zone. Broken up with a stick. Shot! Picked up along the wall by Nima Linen. He got all that hit. Shot! And he keeps that one out. And puts the body into it. A little bumper car hockey. Takes a shot. Denies him on the one-timer. Oh, what reaction! Well-respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Tynan's a star who can get his squad buzzing offensively. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Here's a short pass to right. The Condors carry it on the wall. Stones up with the blocker. Now a quick pass to Deneen. swing right here and now they've got to layer it which means they've got to have that next shift where they attack and have the mindset to drive the net let's see if it's sustainable now the condors are on the board but there's still a long way to go to get back into this one yeah that's not the way the coach would have drawn up that start no urgency and just flat but hey they get back in it only within two now a lot of game left and he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Slides the puck ahead to Madden. Sends the pass in front. And that's intercepted. Up along the wing. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Slides it over to Petrula. Bakersfield's gained the line and into the zone. Centering pass. Can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Shot! And that goes off, pours off a body. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Kemp. Slides the puck across to Bourgeau. Quick feed to Peterson. And the puck leaves the zone. Stoppage in play, offside the call. The Condors have had more shots and more scoring chances here in the first, and yet they still find themselves trailing late in the opening frame. Here's a change. 
Peterson's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Hooked away in the defensive end. Lee's lugging the puck. Dumps the puck in. Battling for it along the boards. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. A chance for the one-timer. Big save by the goaltender once again. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. Groovy's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Turned aside with the glove by Ingham. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Nice job tying up his opponent. Pumps the puck away. Bakersfield's got it in the neutral zone. Here's a chance! Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about completing, finding a way to get to the puck. Ingham's in such great position, he's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. Quick stop by Ingham! The player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. And they win the offensive zone face-off. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Answered the call there. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important, and there's a lot of traffic in front, to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob's Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Ingham's the only reason that his team is in this game, James. I mean, he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Quick shot! Save me with the pass. Her goal has been her workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on that. That's tenacity at its best. Santini's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Quick pass to Griffith. Gaining momentum up along the side. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Ontario's looking to break out. Fires it! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. 
We're still in the early stages of this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Oh, and he misfires on that. Who's the puck? Fagamo stick handling in his own zone. The Condors take possession here in the open ice. Bakersfield's got control of it now from their own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Ontario's gained possession. Through center. Puts it on the end. He scores! What a goal! I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Ontario's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Moves it to Pinelli. Ontario's cut it along the wall. The Condors gain possession. Steps into the offensive end. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Sends it over to Chromiak. Jocelyn for the puck and it's knocked away. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Condors get a hold of the puck along the boards. Wright's taking it from his own end. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a save in front. Ingham's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. McCain's moving the puck through his own zone. From the right side and up the middle. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Ward's got it along the wing. Getting a little visible out there, but still holds on to the puck. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Ontario's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Turn that chance aside. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Ontario's had a tremendous game so far, James. They've owned puck possession. They've been dominant in the offensive zone. And they're not afraid to tap the net. It's a lot of fun when you can play this way. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Bakersfield's won the defensive zone draw. Gains the zone. Takes a shot. Scores! A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. This is just a great shot, James. The delivery so quick of a release that beats the goaltender clean. Bakersfield's got to find a way to get a couple more now after showing some signs of life. The pushback is on much more aggressive through this period than they were in the first, James. And they're going to have to continue that, but it's going to start on the faceoff. They have to get it in, own possession, and start distributing the puck. When they do that, they're going to create some speed and some opportunities on that. And he denied him there. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. A chance in front. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Scooped up by the D. And a penalty coming up as the official stops the play.
first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Campbell's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Hamblin's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Takes a shot. Oh, so up waffles for dinner with that stop. Bakersfield's got the puck in the defensive end. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. The Rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Connects with a long lead pass here in the middle. Shot! Makes the club stop. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Doty's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Groovy's won the faceoff. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. That's blocked by Campbell. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game. And this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. More than half the period has expired. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. The Condors look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to Groovy. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Quick feed to Houdon. They've got numbers here. To his teammate. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Campbell. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Sends it in front. And that goes off a stick. Takes the feed. The Condors move it in. Bakersfield's got the puck against the half wall. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Getting into the later stages of this period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Ontario's going to start with the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Central to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Campbell's going to hang on for a whistle. Ontario's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Bakersfield's got it along the wall. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Pickens plays it now, and it's a quick pass to Madden. Bakersfield's got the puck here in the open ice. Slides the pass over to Kambitz. The Rain have taken control of the puck. Ontario's in transition. Thomas has the puck against the half wall. Bakersfield's looking to break out of their own end. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Condors have the puck in the corner. Ontario's got a hold of it against the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Angles it over to Pinelli. Takes the feed. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a shot. Coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in for James. He's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean.
The rain have been dominant from the moment the puck dropped tonight, and here we are late in the second period, and it is still a one-sided affair. Well, yeah, and it's the relaxed intensity that I've been so impressed with. What I mean by that is they're intense to get the puck, to make sure that they hold on to it and drive the lanes, but it's that relaxed atmosphere. You can see the body language. They're free to play because they have a handed lead. Ontario's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Grabs it in his own end. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. And some good footwork to kick it away. Center and He scores! What a play! Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Condors have finally shown a counterattack, and let's see if they can build on this now. One goal can change the psyche in a game. You can see them pressing as they head into the third period. Great pass from off the right side. Uses the force on that hit. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Takes the return feed. With possession along the wall. Sends the feed in front. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. Puck exits the zone. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special groups in attendance. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Here we go. We're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Ontario's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. Quickly over to Peterson. The Condors looking against the half wall. Ingham's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Ontario's have been on a roll offensively tonight, and they lead it here early in this third period. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Here he is, wrists it on net. Doty's on the attack in the offensive zone. The Condors will play it in their own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. And there's the save. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Handles it along the blue line. Too much traffic in the lane. The Condors have it now. Bakersfield's got it into the offensive zone. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. That's dumped in, and they'll get a fresh group of forwards out there. Connaughton's got it in the defensive end. The Condors gain possession along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's intercepted by Connaughton. Ontario's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he slides it quickly to Groovy. Big time stop by Ingham. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those 
different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Ontario's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. Scooped up along the wall by Chromiak. And now he moves it quickly to Hellenius. Sends a pass over. Ontario's in now. Gets the puck in deep. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Bougeau. Handles the pass at center. Pickett has the puck inside the defensive zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Quick pass to Lee. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Puck scooped up by Deneen. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Slides the puck over. Oh, it steams out as he gets a piece of that one. And that's kicked out from the scrum. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Turns him away. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. And they'll skate it out of the zone. The Condors gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Picks off the pass. Receives the pass. Drives to the paint. Oh, how did he get a club on that? What a stop by Campbell. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop. Slides it to Tynan. They've got some momentum here. Sends the puck across. And that's poked away. What a stop there. And he loses control of the puck. The Condors have it behind the net. Gets it over to right. The Condors take it along the wall. From the back of the cage with the puck. Handles the pass. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. Ontario's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead it 5-3. Here he is in front. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Ingham's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. The Condors have it against the wall. Nice save from point blank range. Here he is in close. There's back to back saves. Now, Goody saved back there. He's really owning his crease. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Rocks him on the play. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Condors will play it from the defensive zone. Bakersfield's got the puck along the wall. Fires it on head. Scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. You got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. The Condors dial up exactly what they needed. A goal here in the third. A lot of pushback right now at the latter half of the third period. And you know that the coach is going to make some adjustments. You want to have the opportunity to get your star gifted, creative, offensive players out there when you need to get an equalizer. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The rain have gained possession off the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's the pass in front. What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. 
The Condor is played along the boards. Ontario's got it in their own zone. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. The Rain have the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Kroniak. Hickets moves the puck. Now a quick pass to Pinelli. Ontario's third line is really showing it tonight. They're feeling it, James, and this is really critical. When you look down your lineup and you know that you've got kind of depth in that attack. Unleashes the cannon! Campbell's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Standing by with her thoughts on who had the edge tonight, it's our own Carlin Bade. Tynan's got the edge in our matchup tonight, guys. He may not have any points, but he stayed with it and played hard for sure. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Peterson. And he takes the pass. Bakersfield's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Back to the blue line. Ontario's got the puck behind the net. Great stretch pass as he connects. Ontario's ready to go on the attack. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Bakersfield's got the puck along the wall. Across the line, down the left wall. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. A critical draw here. Bakersfield's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Great save by the goaltender on that one. Play continues. Listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud. Recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Baker has been leading in the shot department most of the night, but they continue to trail here late in the third. Takes possession. Baker has got the puck. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Santini. Thomas plays it against the boards. Fires it on net and makes the save. Slides it across to Broberg. Ontario's grabbed a hold of the puck. To the front! Oh, what a blocker stop by Campbell. The goaltender's on the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Let's get the call. The end of the game, and you're trailing by one, and you take a penalty. You have to be real aggressive and jump on any opportunity. Good night.